a grieving right now. It doesn't matter who you are, and if you're going to tell me that you haven't lost a loved one in the past year or two, then great. But you've lost other things. You've lost over a year to a global pandemic that has shocked the world over and over. You've lost, in some cases, the camaraderie among coworkers because people are working more remotely. If you're a parent, you've lost some empathy for your child or children because they've been with you way longer than you are used to some days. We've all lost things. We're all grieving. It isn't your turn to grieve while I hold you. It's like we're all at a baseline of grief. We've all been impacted in some way, shape, or form lately, and we're all mourning together. Allow me to share a poem by Patricia McKernan Runkle entitled, When You Meet Someone Deep in Grief. When you meet someone deep in grief, slip off your needs and set them by the door. Enter barefoot this darkened chapel, hollowed by loss, hollowed by sorrow, its gray stone walls and floor. You, congregation of one, are here to listen, not to sing. Kneel in the back pew, make no sound, let the candles speak. Perhaps light a candle today, give your grief to God to hold for the time that you can focus on the flame. It's hard to set our needs by the door, but it is possible. Listen for God and let the light of the candle enfold you, for Christ is our light in the darkness and in our grief. This is your moment of peace with me, Pastor Travis. Please take care of yourself.